not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. So in the Old Testament, there was the moral law, the legal prescriptions they had to follow, and then liturgical prescriptions as well. So those three things, the you know, moral law doesn't, it never changes. Uh, the Ten Commandments, we still abide by them. The legal and the liturgical laws have been changed by Jesus. Now we have laws in the Catholic Church. We have to go to church every Sunday and all the uh, uh, prescriptions of the church we need to follow. Um, and uh, so we still have laws, and Jesus took the Ten Ten Commandments, and he made them more specific. What I should not kill also includes doing harm to yourself, to others, you know, in, in other ways other than killing the body. You know, our Lord gets more and more specific and more and more uh, holding up to us a perfect, a perfect law to abide by. Uh, don't even be angry. Don't insult people. Don't hate them. That all falls under the fifth commandment, thou shalt not kill. Uh, whoever whoever uh, is angry with his brother will be held to, to judgment. Whoever says raka, which is uh, insulting somebody in a you know, pretty severe way, and then if you call anybody a fool, you'll be liable to Gehenna. So it's all about the translations here. The fool meaning, you know, holding somebody to contempt to contempt to the point of hatred and you know even maybe violence it will be there was a grave sin a grave sin of anger leading to hatred that kind of thing so it was a progressive thing the degrees of sin here which the, our protestant brethren should kind of pay attention to because they think all sin is the same you know you'd be judged by you know in the same way but no there are degrees of sin degrees of virtue degrees of happiness in heaven degrees of sin and we need to remember that as we go to confession, as we make our examinations of conscience. You know, when it comes to impurity, you shall not commit a adultery. But I say to you, everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery. So even in our, our thoughts, our sights, our glances, you know, things we look at, things that are kind of voluntary glances or semi-voluntary can get kind of specific you know we have to think of all these things and there's not all sins of impurity are serious and yeah, different degrees there too but they can you know there's a lot of sins you can commit in under impurity a lot of degrees and a lot of different variations of it the way we dress the what we look at you know how we look you know how conscious we are when we're looking so you can get pretty kind of you know particular and uh, we need to be aware of all of that without getting too scrupulous uh, about it, you know. Uh, but we need to be specific and concerned about the little things. This is because we will be judged by them. And the more you know, the more you'll be judged. You know, from the Pope to the bishops to the priests, down to the catechists, to people who are devout Catholics who know a lot. You know, down to, down to le the less and less you know, the you know, varying degrees of judgment. So it's not all black and black and white. It's all, you know, it's. Uh, but we we all we have to be aware of all these things. We need to strive hard. Is what you know. We God is a God of love, and so He's gonna you know pass over all these things. He's not a pushover. Jesus is our judge. He will be our judge on our judgment day when you die. When I die, we will be judged, and we will be judged, uh, you know, according to what we know. But we'll be judged strictly, and we need to remember that we will be judged strictly. And you know, we should expect that we're going to be judged very strictly. Me personally, you personally, I'm going to be judged specifically, strictly, and I need to try as hard as I can to avoid even the smallest sins, the sins of the mind, the sights, you know, be careful, we be very careful for the love of God. And um, you, 
Remember, too, that God is, God's mercy is very great, an ocean of mercy, infinite mercy, which can cover all your sins, all of my sins, on the day of judgment. We need to remember the strictness of God, but also the immense mercy of Jesus. We have to balance them. So if I take advantage of the mercy of Jesus, I can expect a stricter judgment. If I am strict with other people and I'm always looking and nitpicking about everybody else's faults, and I say, oh, you did this, you did that, you said this, you're probably thinking this, and you know, I am strict with you, then I can expect all of my sins to be judged strictly. So, you know, so that's why it's such a dangerous thing to judge other people. Don't judge other people. Be lenient to them, pray for them, hope for the best for them, help them in every possible way if they are caught up in sin or if they are weak in areas. We help them, help them through our prayers and non judgment or counsel or admonitions that are, that are uh, kindly, not, you know, harsh, that kind of thing. Uh, but we are, so Jesus, so the point here really is, you know, we have to be careful about what we do for the love of Jesus, because Jesus, we can say God is very, 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 very sensitive. The smallest uh, uh, lack, of, uh, lack of love for him, the, la- the smallest uh, violation of the moral law, hurting other people, the smallest... Uh, um, ingratitude to him. Uh, we come and worship him if we're kind of uh, looking around or if we're kind of daydreaming. Those things offend him because he, he loves us and wants us to love him. So the smallest kind of uh, lack of love to him hurts him, offends him. He's, he's exquisitely sensitive and the violations of the Ten Commandments and all the details of every, every commandment, uh, we should be concerned because we don't want to offend Jesus, who is exquisitely sensitive to these things which hurt us. It hurts him when we hurt ourselves and we hurt our brothers and sisters, down to the smallest degree. So we have a lot to think about. You know, again, we know at the end of the day, uh, if we're sorry for everything, even down to the smallest things, God's mercy will, you know, cover a lot of it. The more we're sorry and the more we love God, we can expect day of judgment, maybe not have to pay for anything. We need to really trust in God's mercy in that way, but we need to be sorry for everything and strive hard to avoid every sins because we don't want to hurt our loving God, our loving Father, our loving Savior, our loving Jesus, our loving Mother. So we don't want to offend. You know, this is the gift of the uh, fear of the Lord, and this is how we need to live. Be careful about everything for the love of Jesus, not get scrupulous about everything that God's going to strike us for every this tiny thing that we do wrong. You know, trust in God's fatherly care for us, just like a good father. And but we 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 are concerned about everything. We don't want to offend God in the in the smallest way. But and then through a a heart full of deep love for God, strive hard hard to please Him. Strive hard to do more and more, be more and more generous, more and more giving, more and more charitable to him and to our neighbor. Oh, 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 oh.